It's good to make a departure from your regular line of work and the Great Barrier Reef is certainly a lot different to the regular aerial landscapes that I make. Being an aerial photographer, I get to see a lot of really beautiful things from a very different perspective. Spent a lot of time out over the deserts and documenting rural Australia and the process of our production of food and fibre. And we wanted to see the complete opposite of that. Photographically, the reef has held a special fascination for me. Then I became aware of the third major global bleaching event that occurred in late 2016. It then turned into a bit of a mission for Joe and I to fly the full length of the Great Barrier Reef and showcase its beauty from the air while we still can. One of the most diverse communities of animals on the planet lives on this reef. Coral is a foundation species and the reefs are the ultimate source of life for the seafood we all harvest and eat. But as big and powerful as the reef is, it's still vulnerable to our behaviour on land, both directly and indirectly. Over. Yeah. Over, yeah. yeah, put a bit of time in over number 10. We'll circle back around through this central part and then we'll come back up. I'm a huge fan of big, bold colours and the reef delivers in a massive way. There's so many beautiful colour gradients. Yeah, yeah. Oh, insane. Let's go. Well, can't wait. There's a number of additional challenges shooting over water and ultimately through it. There's so many things that need to line up. The cloud cover, the water clarity, the wind, the tides, the angle of the sun and the angle of the aircraft. And it's a massive challenge for us. Here we are. We've got a cracking day and very fortunate with the light right on low tide. So most of the reef is exposed how we want it. And it's looking absolutely beautiful. Oh, Josh, look down here. I know. Oh, it's just amazing. Just love being a part of what Josh does. Some of the images he, that he takes is just mind blowing, and I just can't believe I'm a part of it. It's a powerful thing seeing the reef like this from this vantage point and it's never ever lost on me or Joe. I still can't believe it, but each time we're out over the reef there seems to be a new shade of blue to see. It would secretly have to be my favourite colour. Photographically this just seals the deal. We've spent so much time out in the deserts and in rural Australia and now here we are on the reef. It's like the culmination of a massive journey. And this is the icing on the cake, I have to say. Fortunately, the reef is constantly rebuilding. And if we keep the reefs healthy enough, we're beginning to hear that there's an ability for them to recover. And now through these images, I have the responsibility to remind as many people as I can exactly what we have here and how important it is for us to all think about what we do on land and the impacts it has on our oceans and reef. At some level, we're all connected to the Great Barrier Reef.